Welcome to Honest Whispers Review to Sale. On this video I'll be reviewing a Story Image figure lines. Cowboy Bebop Faye Valentine Gashpon figure. It was released by Yamato back in around mid 2000. If I had to make a guess, something around like 2005, around there. I bought this at a local anime shop. And Faye Valentine is a very popular character from the Cowboy Bebop. I would say she's probably uh, second to Spike Spiegel, who's the main character. Uh, personally, I like her the best. And there's no sculptor or designer credited to this. Usually there isn't. Gashapon figure. This came out in a mystery box. So you don't really know who you're going to get until you actually open it. So I'm going to go over five different categories to review this. First category is the design, which covers the concept and the pose of the figure. And this basically comes in pieces. Uh, the head comes off, um, the leg comes off, I believe both legs, uh, or might be just one, but I'm pretty sure both legs. The arms come off and then the sweater comes off. The sweater is in two pieces, you can see the seam line on the top. It is. It does fit pretty good overall, you can't really tell where the pieces fall out unless you look really close. but. Compared to others, uh, it could definitely fit a little bit better. You could see some seam line here, like on her shoulder. But because it's a seam line between her, I guess, her, her body and her clothes, it kind of has an effect of, I guess her actually wearing clothes rather than having it painted on. You can see the seam line here on the bottom of her right arm. That one isn't as good, but still overall, that is something you have to kind of look close at because when you look from a normal distance, you really can't tell where the seam line is uh, and it's very nicely designed. Unlike most Gashapon figures, she actually isn't attached to her base. So in other words, you could basically, like there's no peg or anything. It really fits her character style of the, you know, is it comes in two pieces. You can see how it has a little, like a little puzzle link. Or the T-Link, I guess you could call it as well. And then you can see how she lays flat pretty much on any surface perfectly. So this one, because it has kind of a tilt on the bottom, makes her a little bit more visible, I guess. So it just works well. Let me kind of line this up straight. I like to make sure every part of her is on the thing. So usually, I would pose it like this, where the base line pretty much is symmetrical to, you know, what, where I'm facing. But this can be displayed in so many different angles. You could have it displayed this way, so that you can see that big, that white line right there. So that could be a way you could, or right here, this white line. So that could be a way where you can um, pretty much align how you display your figure. You could even use this baseline 
and have it symmetrically, you know, perpendicular to you as well. And it still looks great. So the design I and the pose, which is also very cool. It's very dynamic. She's in an action pose at the same time. It, it's it has a very sexy uh, pose to it and look to it. So I think it's a good balance between her, um, I guess, the concept of sexy and, you know, action. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. You can see even how her hair is slightly tilted a bit, I guess. So it, it shows, it looks like she's turning her head or in the middle of turning her head. Very nicely done overall. I give the design a 10 out of 10. Next category is sculpting, which also covers the molding and of course the quality of the figure itself when it comes to uh, the molding part. And as you can see, everything is very well detailed. I could zoom in right there from the hairline her her little um, actually I don't know what you call that but it's I guess the, the little hair uh, accessory it's not a headband but it's one of those and it's not a tiara but it's one of those hair clip kind of thing that goes over your head I guess uh, very nicely designed her clothes you can see her collar, even her neck, collarbone. All very nicely sculpted. Sweater has uh, very realistic wrinkles, even the way it's tied on the bottom. So once again, you can take the sweater off. So you do have an option to have it displayed without her sweater, which is always cool too. Uh... She's, you know, automatically, you know, autonomically uh, proportional. Everything looks great. Uh, her breasts are, even with their cleavage, very nicely detailed. Legs, nicely proportioned. But in shorts, the way you can see how it's kind of flapping and, and some wrinkles. Very nicely uh, sculpted design. Even down to her shoes, the way it kind of wrinkles, folded right there on her toes. It's very clean. Everything smooth, very, line, uh, very um, straight and well curved lines. You could see the seam lines where the two cast um, or the molds basically come together. So that's probably. And even though you could see that seam line, it, it's very hard to tell. Nicely uh, cleaned off, I guess. Unlike certain other figures that might show a lot of sign. So that's actually not bad. And again, that's looking at very close, even just from a short distance, that seam line disappears. You know, for the sweater, the way it doesn't fit completely perfectly. And the arms. I'm gonna give that a hit on the sculpting department rather than, or, or the sculpting category rather than the design category because it looks to me, I mean, this is once again in many different pieces. So sometimes it could be the molding or the casting. I mean, it's not a huge flaw, but I have to be honest and it's not perfect. You know, I would have rather seen something where I wouldn't really see the seam line like on the bottom of her left arm or the top of her right arm where it's 
really hard to tell but when you see this line you can kind of see where it, where it would separate and yeah I try to put it in as tightly as possible so this one the sculpting I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 next category is painting painting as you can see the quality of the paint is very good and also the colors are very accu accurate uh, you could see a lot of you could see some fading on her hair on the ends so that's nicely done and for Gashapon looking at the painting the quality and the accuracy on the eyes and even the lips very nicely done for something this small because even from far away especially when you look from far away it's pretty much flawless and just to give you an idea of how big this is this is actually about three inches tall but it does have length because of her position so if you count the base it's about six inches long but the figure itself is about five inches long so this isn't like a tiny gashapon it's i mean if she stood up straight she would probably be taller than a gi joe that's for sure so but still at the same time it is pretty small and to have the eyes and the face painted this accurately definitely well done now it isn't quite perfect perfect though you could see certain lines like on the top of her stockings it's not like straight edged lines you could see a little dot right there or or you know slightly missing right there uh, the black line on her costume in my opinion in my honest opinion I think it could have been a little bit more straight but it is part of it is supposed to be fabric so I mean it's not that bad but at the same time that black line right there on her right side I would say it could have been a bit cleaner everywhere else now since these are in different pieces it's not that hard to make any mistakes like the lines on the base and the color everything straight and perfect or pretty much perfect so very small flaws uh, I know there is right there that white the yellow line on her hair accessory Yeah, it's a bit rough. If it was much straighter, uh, I mean, it would have been perfect. So, very close to perfect. Now, I did zoom out just to show you that when you look from far away, you really can't tell that much. Any of the flaws. Everything looks pretty good and straight. Colors are vibrant. It is pretty much matte finish though. There's no uh, extra shine to it or anything like that. So due to that minor flaw, I'm going to give the painting a 9 out of 10. Next category is value. Value, when I bought this, this wasn't a cheap gashapon, but at the same time, gashapons aren't really expensive at the same time. This was, if I can recollect, uh around 9.99 when I bought this uh, it might have been a little bit less maybe like at the lowest it was probably 7.99 it was definitely not one of those cheap five dollar six dollar ones it was more of the expensive um, like the eight nine ten dollar and I'm pretty sure this was on the higher end that's why I'm 80% positive it was on the 9.99. Now, when I looked that up right now, 
this is definitely rare there isn't much uh, new ones that's for sale or like a huge list of like different sellers you know <laughs> selling it on eBay and Amazon stuff like that now right now there's only one seller on eBay that's from Japan and he has this listed at 120 which is definitely high for Gashapon so I was a bit surprised myself uh, there is a variant version on eBay right now and that's forty dollars plus you know shipping and handling so that's a bit of a plus and I believe that 120 had shipping charges too so this one I also checked on Amazon uh, again all the pictures it showed a picture of used but basically it did it did say new and Amazon had one for like 75 other websites had uh, and Amazon had couple sellers and they had other sellers and different websites selling it for like 80 110 all excluding the shipping so with shipping you probably have to add a good like you know estimate of ten dollars more maybe like six seven bucks so value is definitely high now this is something I'm probably gonna list and maybe about mid that I mine does have slight damage as you can see on her head it's not scratched or anything, but you could see part of the paint is a bit scuffed up. So it has this shiny reflection to it that you can kind of see. And on the base, it's like a small little blemish somewhere here. Yeah, like right here. It's like a little scuffing. Just a small little dot. And these are very small, so it's not like, I mean, I'm not gonna call it near mint. Like couple, like, what, millimeters? So, I wouldn't call that near, near mint, but definitely on the very fine category. So, I would probably list this around uh, I would say 50 to 60 dollars and then go from there but either way the value is really high so I give the value grade a 10 out of 10 finally overall accounting for all the all the you know scores I've given on the category as I mentioned before the Faye Valentine is my favorite Cowboy Bebop character and this figure is like the pose and the concept of it is my favorite as well. Um, there are also cool figures uh, and poses of Faye Valentine uh, but it's, sometimes it's a bit too on the provocative side and Sometimes, I mean, like the one she's sitting down holding like a card, I thought I think that one's cool. But when I look at this pose with the action at the same time, just the displayability of many different angles, uh, it's very cool to me. So like it's it's. For now, probably my favorite Faye Valentine figure of all time. Because the expensive full statue one, that one's pretty cool too, but it just looks like she's kind of jumping with her arms in the air. I think this is very cool. So. Overall, I'm going to give it a ten, 9 out of 10. I would give it a 10 if, you know, painting and sculpting is perfect. 
you probably wouldn't sell it either but I had this for a while it is time to make some space and money so I'm gonna go ahead and list this up for sale so to recap design 10 out of 10 sculpting 9 out of 10 painting 9 out of 10 value 10 out of 10 and overall 9 out of 10 thank you for watching until next time i'd probably do a spike spiegel video